Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang. Welcome back to the channel. In today's Madden 22 video, we're going to be going over how you can make consistent coin profit. If you're new to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, and turn your notifications on. Everything that I ask of you is free. Let's get into some shout out. We got a shout out to Yuzi. We got a shout out to Sumner Shelton. We got a shout out to Orlando Lugo. If you want a chance to be shouted out in the video, be active on the channel, subscribed with your notifications on. We also have a Xbox giveaway coming up. So make sure that you are watching every single video. We did have a PlayStation winner that was following me on Twitter and a sub to the channel. So if you want to be notified for more giveaways, make sure that you go in the link in the description and follow me on social media. This is your one stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for ebooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just want to become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. The number one coin making method in Madden 22 is always giving yourself 10 minutes on the marketplace and sniping cards, okay? So there's a couple different coin making methods. You have legend sets that give you between a 14 to 22 thousand coin profit and then you can go ahead like you see right here and snipe these team diamonds now if you've been paying attention to what madden has been doing recently a lot of the team diamonds are getting upgraded so as you can see this 90 overall ricky williams i sniped him for 65 thousand coins i was able to turn around and sell him for about 95 or 96 thousand coins super fast 20,000 coin profit. You should be going and taking two or three players from that team, investing into them power-ups, okay? Because like Joe Burrow, if you were getting him for 12 to 20,000 coins, once the game is live, you can sell them same power-ups for 40 to 45,000 coins. They rise up for about a two to three hour window. Like I did, I went in here and I got all these Von Millers. I went and picked up like three or four Von Millers, okay? I was getting some Von Millers for about 14 to 15,000, and then now he is up about 2%. So eventually, the next Von Miller card who plays on the Rams, and if he get a flashback from the playoffs on the Broncos, his highest card is this 89 overall. What do I mean by that? That 89 overall is his highest card besides his next upgrade so this car right here can easily turn to about 90 to 150 thousand coins that would be either a 65 thousand profit on each card that i have and i have about five of them or it can be up to 400 thousand coin profit just by buying them cheap knowing who's in the playoffs paying attention to team diamonds and who still needs upgrades and then holding that card and then selling it once the hype is near. Like I said, the Team Diamonds, it's a lot of cards and sets that haven't got upgrades and a lot of them come out with limiteds or higher cards. They've been doing Team Diamonds a lot. So if you can make the Team Diamonds, last night I went into the set for this Ricky Williams and a few other cards. I was able to make a Team Diamond 90 overall without sitting on the marketplace and sniping every piece for about 78 to 84,000 coins. You can sell a lot of these team diamonds for 98 to 110,000 coins. So if we go into the set right now, all you got to do is two different methods. You can go into the 500 coin pack and get some of them players and then all the ones that don't have great value, put them into the team diamond set. Now what I'm going to do eventually is I'm going to try to finish off all these team diamond sets or as many as I can and every single one of them that get an upgrade will be all profit. So you're doing a 500 coin get a player method, you're pulling out all them cards, then you are turning around putting them pieces into this set right here okay so a lot of them use team builders when i do this set all total i might spend about 80 to 83 thousand unless you are patient on the snipe filters you can go in here now these team builders this can help you take another 
10 or 12,000 off your total because you know how to make team builders for even cheaper. Okay. So you come in here, some of these golds are going to be overpriced because they go into a set, but like this one right here, you can probably get this for about 800 coins. Okay. Some of these golds are going to be overpriced because they go into a set 2,600 right here. You should really be spending about 18 to 1900 for the 78 overall gold card. But using the 500 coin method, you have a better chance at pulling most of these golds for 500 coins instead of overspending for 2,000 to 2,500. Every day, I like to go in and use 10 to 15,000 worth of coins. That's gonna give you 25 to 30 different pulls. If you need coins, that's the best way to repost them cards and make coins. Or if you're looking for the long road like me, I'm going to take all them cards and start building my binder up, fill in all these team diamonds. And when you are closer to having these team diamonds done and they release a card, you might have to go out and spend another 15 to 20 thousand coins and get the extra pieces that you need but you're going to be able to turn around first when the cards are at its highest value and resell them cards for 145 200 thousand coins that's going to be super fast profit for you okay it's not too much content in the game right now besides team of the weeks but like i said you can go into the legend set you can go into the team builder set you can find pieces for the cheapest sit on the filter give yourself seven to ten minutes every single day sit on the filter and just wait you can build campus heroes 80 overalls you can exchange them for your team builders to get the 80 overalls the cheapest or so you can come up in here with the legend set you can do all these i sold off two thermos Thomas's already I build the set you try to find the two top pieces for the cheapest so if you look right now at this Thurman Thomas he's a hundred and seven thousand that's a big gap between 117 so you can probably find this 94 overall somebody might post them up for 92 96 thousand coins that will help your overall profit once you build them you see them for 92 95 thousand coins and you know he usually sells between 107 to 107 17,000 grab that card put him in the set that's gonna help your overall then you go to the next piece 61,000 is what he's selling for so you want to spend seven to eight minutes early in the game or later on in the game catch this card somebody put him up for 53 54,000 coins you're gonna snatch that card up boom that's gonna help your profit overall this card is going for about 315 to 325 thousand coins so if you can make this card 275 to 285 290 at the most you're going to be walking away with a 12 to 18 thousand profit every single time super super simple legend sets team builders and then team diamond three easy ways to make profit